Hey guys, this is Make It Work With Yash, and today we are going to do a review over the Palette 720 HD dash cam. Uh, if you guys had watched my other video that was over the dash cam right here, um, I told you guys I would use it for a couple of weeks and then give y'all a true review over it. And today that is what we are going to go over. This is going to be a review of pros and cons with this little camera. So, um, we're going to start off with pros. Pros is it's a great price. Uh, the price was amazing for a dash cam. You know, you can't beat that. Um, you can find this at Walmart and probably a couple of other stores. Um, let's see. It has a good motion sensor. The motion sensor, uh, this little guy has a motion sensor built in. If you select it, because they have many selections that you can pick from, if you select to use the motion sensor, it will turn on every time a movement is seen from the camera. And what I mean by that, guys, uh, you can set it up to uh, either turn on every time there's movement, or you can just let it constantly record. And I turn I turned it on like every time there's movement. Then it has a setting that you can set the time limit once it turns on. Like you can set it for one minute. So it means once movement, it would jump on for one minute and record and it would turn back off. Uh, now when I say turn back off, not the camera turn off, but just the recording turns off. You do have a setting in there that automatic jump off too, if it's not being used. Um, or you could turn it to like one minute, five minutes, I think 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It has different settings you can turn it on. So that was a great thing. That's a pro right there. The next pro is loop recording. You don't have to worry about it running out of your SD card uh, room because the cam will record over any old footage once it reached the end of your SD gigs. So like if you have eight gig uh, card in there, uh, once it reached eight gigs, it would just record over the old footage. Now, if you had some footage in there you needed to pull because like an accident happened or anything like that, it would still be on there, but you need to pull it before it records over it. So, you know, that's another good thing. All right. The fourth pro is the size. It's a nice little camera. I, I can't I can't even complain about this. It's a nice little camera. Uh, I love the size of the camera because it's handy. If you need to move it from uh, one car to another or a truck to another, it don't take up a you know it don't take up that much room and it definitely don't take up that much dash room or windshield room. You know some people uh, mount it on their dash. Some people put it on their windshield. If you got the suction cup and everything, you can put it on your windshield. So that's where I hit mine to, on the windshield. It don't take up that much room. Now, the fifth pro is the car charger. And that's this right here, guys. Um, the car charger, I love the length of the cable they give you. It's enough to tuck and hide. If you're like me, you don't like all your wires to be shown, so... That's a big plus. You know, I like to hide my wires. Like, all vehicles got creases where, like, your dash is put together and your uh, your plastics of your dash is seen together. So, you can, like, either snap some of your dash apart and, you know, push it up in there. Um, you know, they give you plenty, plenty length of wire to, you know, plug it into your cigarette lighter and then... You know, you can hide all the wire and just have so much sticking out where you got to plug it into your dash cam. That's that's a plus. Now, we are going to get into the cons. The cons is the number one is the screen size. OK, guys, I can't even lie to screen size. 
I don't like the 1.8 display. I think it would be great if they made the screen like two inches. That way you don't have to look so hard to see what your camera is pointing at. You know, when you got it on your dash, it's, it's different from right now. Right now, I got it right here underneath the camera and pointing it. But once you have it on your dash, it's away from you on the window or your dash. So you want to angle it for it will capture like when you're driving, it will capture both parts of the road, uh, you know, going and coming. That way, if something happened, you capture both of it. But with the screen being so small, you know, you, you want to be able to make sure you can see everything that the camera is capturing. So, you know, it just maybe, you know, it just me, but I'd rather have a two inch uh, screen that would have made it so much better. Okay, the second con about this camera is the menu keys. The menu keys, yeah, they're good in size. These are the keys right here, but the menu is a little complicated to figure out how to work even after reading the directions. I read the directions and it was still kind of hard to figure it out. Like for instance, I don't know if you guys can see, right here you got an M, then you got arrows pointing to your right side, then you got the OK button and the uh, on and off switch as together. And then you got the arrows pointing to your left side. Well, to turn different menus, you have to like hold down the menu. And I didn't know that at first, you know, like just different ways to, you know, that you go back and forth and change like the setup, you have to hold it down again. And the same M is used to change like your, the get off your screen. Like this is telling like the 1.3 millimeter or the VGA, whatever the capture you want it to be. But, and then you move it back and forth down like, you know, you push these keys. Like I said, it's, it's, it's complicated. I must say, you know, I had to figure it out and I finally got it a little bit. Okay. For instance, just kept on pushing till I came to the, the format. Like you can, you use these keys to go back and forth up and down or, you know, for your language, your auto off, your date input, stuff like that. It was, believe it or not, it was kind of, kind of hard. You push OK, whatever you want to click on and, you know, just different stuff. So, you know, I think that was pretty, pretty, you know, even after reading directions, it was still pretty hard. OK, now the third is the resolution. The resolution, they give you an option to choose what resolution you want to record it to be in. But when you plug it up to your computer, it's a different story. I tell you. Also, I noticed the camera has a skip delay while recording. I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to pull my computer and plug it up and let you guys see. Just give me a second. Move this stuff out of the way. Okay. I'm going to pull my computer and let you guys see exactly what I am talking about. Okay, so let's put this up on the computer. I'm going to plug it up and I'm going to show you guys. Okay. Okay. I just plugged it up. Let it load up. All right. So let me get out this. Go over here. And I'm going to show you guys. And like I said, the quality of my, uh, my computer is good, but <clears throat> the resolution of the camera is not so good. Okay. So I'm going to pull it up. Okay. So let's go all the way to, huh? Let's try this one, maybe right here. Let's see. 
Okay, this was me driving. You see how it falls a little bit? Now, look at the picture. If you guys notice, it's like a like a little delay. So let me go to another another one. Okay, now pay attention. See how it pauses and then it unpauses and then it stops again and then it goes and it stops again and it goes. Okay, I, I, I find a problem with that. You know, to me, I think it should just go continuously. I don't know why it does this. And I tried it many different times. It does it all the time. You know, uh, I thought that the camera just should record constantly. But it has a stop delay. And also, I don't know if you guys can see, but look how the, the video, the image is not as clear as it say it will be. Uh, I know it says a 720, but when you get into the uh, menu, it actually gives you a choice to pick a uh, a higher. I got it on 720, and it's just the quality is not as clear as I thought it would be. It's still kind of pixel pixelated, so you know, but. I mean, guys, tell you the truth, uh, my reviews on this palette, 720HD dash cam, the pros outweighs the cons. So all is all. It's not a bad little dash cam. You really can't go wrong for the price and it being your first dash cam. I don't know about you guys, but this is my first dash cam. So, you know, I really can't complain too much for it being my first dash cam and for the price, I think it, I mean, the price I think was like 15, 15 bucks. Maybe if you catch it during Christmas time, you might can get it for 10. So, I mean, you can't really complain for 10, 15 bucks. And plus it does the job. I mean, let's, let's be all truthful. If something was to happen while I was driving, it would capture the accident. So I would have, you know, that's my proof of what really happened right there. But I just feel there was a, just a few things if they could, you know, just fix that. This will be a 100% perfect cam. Well, guys, this is Make It Work With Yash. And we was doing the reviews on the, on the, let's see, the Palette 720 HD dash cam. And this will be the picture right here. If you guys go back and look at my review when I first opened it up, well, it wasn't a review. It was an opening. Uh, you will see what I'm talking about. But guys, if you could, please like, share, and subscribe. The button is right here. And stay tuned to other videos that I'll be making. And don't forget, we still got the contest going on. When I reach uh, 200, yeah, 200 subscribers, I will be doing a big giveaway. Uh, there's a video out about that and you can look on my Facebook page. I have plenty, plenty of info on what you can win, how you, uh, you know, all you have to do is subscribe. That's all you have to do. Get your friends, uh, share, share the videos, let them subscribe. So when we reach this 200, we can do this big giveaway. Well, guys, that's enough of me taking your time. Um, this is make it work with Yash. And I will see y'all guys later. Peace.